They're learning a little bit about how to build robotics, how electronic systems work. I think that competition has been fantastic. It's a good opportunity to see kids engaged and uh, excited about what they're doing. Everybody seems pretty, pretty excited, pretty happy. It's pretty amazing, actually. But you get that energy and that passion inside when they're in middle school, and they're going to do something in high school that's amazing. The event is a robotics competition. It's designed for 6th to ninth grade, mainly middle school kids. This year's theme is uh, Collapse of the Mineshaft. So you're rescuing a mineshaft worker. The first section is autonomous navigation. They use their ultrasound sensors to bounce sound waves off of the walls. So the idea is the first section, autonomous, that you're going through as you're approaching the mine. The second section is autonomous navigation following a line. This year we have the line on the ceiling, so they had to build their IR sensors facing upwards. And you're actually following the safety lights in the mine before the collapse. The third section is clearing the debris and then acquiring the guy. And then the wall is actually like a collapsed rubble wall, and the mine shaft worker is trapped on the other side of it. So you want to pull the wall down outwards and then rescue the guy and take him out of the mine. Once they grab the guy, they'll move to the fourth section to go to the manual mode for going through the obstacle course, actually rescuing the guy and then completing the course. Everybody seems pretty, pretty excited, pretty happy. The teams that are having issues are excited to go back. They get the time between their two runs to fix stuff, so everybody's working hard to get the robots back running. We have lots of schools that do elementary school, a little bit of robotics, and then there's nothing really in middle school, and then when you move to high school, it's hard to get those kids to come back to robotics. This is more hands-on. It's 90% physically doing something, 10% reading from a book, instead of the other way around. And what it's done is it's helped kids really take some challenging problems and then use their math and their engineering and their technology and their science skills to solve a challenge. I mean, some of them have a pretty high degree of programming skill and knowledge already. They're learning a little bit about how to build robotics, how electronic systems work. They're learning about teamwork skills, you know, the kids really have to work together. I love that about robotics. Um, I, I love the education side of it, but I think there's so much need in soft skills and that team building, working together, continuous improvement. Just the creativity of kids, um, how they approach it differently. Um, you know, it's a, it's, it's a good opportunity to see kids engaged and uh, excited about what they're doing. So they're taking the skills that they're learning in their math classroom and using them in an applied way. And I think that, that shows its benefit and its value to them all the way through their, their post-secondary education and on into life. They're learning lifelong skills, that, that interdependency and ability to work together, clear communication, um, learning how to deal with frustrations and problem solve in a real life manner. And we had, I think, 21 um, teams here that were competing in Mind's Eye, and it's gone fabulous. It's like the real world. That's exactly what we do in our day-to-day -day lives. We solve problems. And just because this is robotics, it's not that much different than any other job if you're going to be successful. And then the other thing is we have fun. That's what we're here for, you know? Make a difference and have fun.